Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francis. Today, I'm gonna answer one specific question that I get from Reddit. Let's get right into it. So the question that I get is from Jesus is Mexican. It asks, where does business vision, strategy, and competitive advantage all come together? And I think it's a very fair question for a lot of people to ask because most of the people, when they start a business, they don't know what to do. And when they actually look up on the business book, they actually talk about the bit of strategy, but bit of vision and business competitive advantage. But like if you are an entrepreneur, if you want to understand how to have a very good business, you shouldn't learn it from the book because it's not very contextual. The book will tell you that what the value that the people like and they can share and all those stuff. But how can you make a business with all of a sudden come up with a vision and then you have a business wrap around it. The way that you can learn how you could have a vision for your business is like you have to know things. Like for example, if you're talking about auto industry, probably the first thing that people think about is electric car and the traditional gasoline car, which is a big debate that people talk about. Everyone knows that like Tesla or people who love Tesla or the Tesla fanboy, they like the vision of Tesla, which is create sustainable transportation for the future generation. That is the vision. But if you don't understand why electric car is better alternative than gasoline car in terms of the, the emission that emit, or if you don't understand that how bad the emission that's come out of the normal gasoline car, or that it's not very sustainable to burn all the fuel that we have on earth and that a transfer to the motion and even only 30% of that energy become power actually go to the wheel all those things right if you don't understand that you cannot have a vision vision is something that value that people share so I think by asking this kind of question it is fair to ask but the most important thing is like understand the customer and also understand what people care about in terms of vision regarding of uh, the competitive advantage is also innate to the business that you build around like for example in the past if they communicate with other person they either have to meet them in person or they could like send them a letter or call them on the phone right those are the things that you need to deal with three separate systems some of them are free some of them are not free and like meeting the other person of course it's free if you call someone you probably have to pay the toll booth call them on a the cell phone or pay the uh, service on stuff like that that's also not free of course like the sending a letter you, you need a mailman it's not free so compared to what Facebook does Facebook use internet. Internet basically is a monster machine that connect people. In the past, it called information superhighway. They didn't call this name for no reason because internet can help transport all kind of information, letter, word, video in an instant. All the things that I talked about before, like the telephone, like letter and meeting a person, they are not instant. They actually cost a lot of money to get it done, right? So if you use a all functional, like they can replace all kind of thing of the internet to replace the older system that you have which is a cell phone letter you will have an innate competitive advantage and if you talk about like one of the operational advantages like you need to attract talented people to work for you or you attract customer those also are advantage but that's all more related to branding so if you talk about competitive advantage you do have to know underneath what are the business you're doing why you're better so it's like no universal answer for that you have to know your thing basically that is business and the last thing that you talk about is the strategy. By looking on the internet, what business strategy actually means? It's like business strategy can be understood as the course of action or set of decisions which assist the entrepreneur in achieving specific business objective. So usually I understand in the real life, which is like business strategy, you come with two forms. The first form is like your product and marketing, which like I talked about before, you need to know what is the better way that you can solve the current problem. Basically, business is helping customers to do what they do normally with more ease, with like more automatic. They don't have to think about it that very much. That is what business deliver the value to the customer. And in terms of product, most of the time, the answer would be the internet or the newer technology. That's why in the last 30, 40 years, we have quantum leap on human civilization because our technology have improved a lot. So in terms of specific industry, I mean, there's no universal answer. You need to know your specific industry. And then if you're talking about getting customer, you also need need like a branding. It means that you need to communicate with your customer. Like I talked about before, business strategy, basically know how you deliver more value to your customer. Second is like marketing strategies. Marketing strategy is like how can you communicate with your customer saying that 
you are better product than your competitor. Why they should like use your product over the other competitor. The best way to communicate or like to talk to your customer, knowing where they spend the time, where they use the advice. Like for example, if you talk to a 15 years old, they probably are on TikTok or Instagram. So you need to know where they are, which is on Instagram. You need to create content that related to them while you're talking about your truth. So for example, like if you want to sell insurance, you are 15 or 18 years old, you need to talk about why they need it. Like you could be, hey, you know what? You guys are going to college. Going to college, it means that probably you need to rent. When you rent, you want to buy tenant insurance, for example, because if you don't have tenant insurance, someone probably don't want to rent it to you. It's just like a landlord, like rent it to you without any insurance covering them. If you like burn down the place and stuff like that, right? So it's all about how you communicate with them and how you get their attention. So I think it's like marketing strategy means. So those are the things that all come together. So when you figure out all this thing and you understand what your customer want, everything fall into place. Don't worry about make external model and try to put everything in place because it's just not how real life works. Hope I answer your question very well. If you like what I talk about, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys next time.